Yeah, well I'm like damn, I'm posted, stuck on this purple potion I'm smoking so much swag to win the worst spoken Women with their shirts off like Hulk Hogan It's so busy, Mr. No Joking, leave your whole soaking If she ever try to flirt with me, I'm so swagged up I be killing niggas, walk in the club and get a first degree It's double homicide when me and Killer come through Team running, we running a running gun The realest thing walking in the trillers name talkers is a late great Pippin' the legend they call Bun I keep two cups, I ain't gotta say why Tattoo wings, so I gotta stay fly Feeling like AI way back in I-7 I'm the rookie of the year and these boys can't lie I'm coming up quick and got lame niggas sick Cause the girlfriends love the way a young nigga speak Even got the old hoes all on Twitter and my DMs Trying to get a young nigga dick What up YouTube man, this video I posted up on Saturday In which I deleted it off the computer Before I realized that I fucked it up Like I left the music too damn loud and shit So no one heard what the hell I was talking about So I decided to re-record it So on the news for Saturday, Snoop Dogg came out and said That he and Pharrell are working on a joint album And I am actually rather excited for that Because the latest Snoop Dogg songs that I've actually liked were all pretty much produced by Pharrell, you did. But anyway, on to Saturday's reply. And it was to that Rick Ross featuring Staley that everything a dope boy ever wanted. And this song was fucking comical, to keep it 100, man. Like, and it was fucked up comical. Because they took a damn good beat from Beat Billionaire and completely ruined it, man. Like, first of all, this was a fucking commercial for everything that Maybach Music got coming out in the future. Like, does every project y'all got in the works have to be shouted out? Doing a fucking boss. There's some of the things that they were fucking saying. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, at the end, Staley wanna talk that shit, like, bigging up himself, like, he spit a dope ass boss. Like, what did you say to say that you were one of the best out here, dude? You didn't say shit. In Rick Ross's verse, man, he said, you know what? No more tricking. I'm only doing big pimping. Like, come on now. You've said some crazy, outlandish lies in your life. But this is one that you just took it too damn far, Rick Ross. Because if you stop rapping about tricking, you got nothing else to fucking say. Overall, I really don't recommend it, even though the beat was straight. These guys just fucked it up. But anyway, on to Saturday's article, which was my own particular path, you dig? Like, a lot of people ask me a bunch, what am I going to do with this career path? Keep it 100. I don't know. I don't know the future. I don't know what opportunities will come, you dig? But I do kind of have an end destination, and it's, of course, the music industry. I kind of want to be a music mogul. But how I get there, that's in the air, and if that may flip up and change, that's possible. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's